Good afternoon. This is Brian from the Scott Coin support team. This afternoon I'm going to go through the a couple of smartphone apps that you can use uh, if you're moving to the Scott Coin B3 token. Uh, these are my Ether Wallet app and the MetaMask app. Okay. As you know, we are moving to an Ethereum token uh, from the old B2 counterparty protocol to the Ethereum blockchain as a ERC20 B3 token. Now there's two smartphone apps that coincide with the two web-based browser services we've already talked about in earlier videos, uh, which are compatible with the new ERC20 token which runs on the Ethereum blockchain. Now the first one is the Mew wallet app from my Ether wallet. Now there's two Mew apps, one of them is the new one and one of them is called Mew Connect. This one is the new one that we're going to be talking about here. And also the MetaMask app which is also available from metamask.io. Now you're welcome to use other apps if you want to, such as Jax, Liberty.io, uh, as long as it's compatible with the Ethereum blockchain and ERC20 tokens. Now just to make sure that you're actually going to the right website, you can have a quick look here. Now this is the Mew app, it's MewWallet.com and MetaMask.io. Now, Jax is also available for people who are using an iPhone, for example, because the MetaMask app is not available for iPhone users. So it's possible you can use Jax instead. The settings are very similar. First of all, let's have a look at the Mew app. There's two options here. It is create a free wallet, uh, which allows you to create a brand new Ethereum address with a brand new set of 12 words which you write down and keep in a safe place. You also choose a PIN number and use biometrics such as your fingerprint to secure the wallet. That's if your smartphone has that feature. The restore is for people with existing wallets that want to access their Ethereum account. Okay, first of all, when you install the app, you get this option that says create a free wallet. So you just click on that, asks you for a PIN number. So you just put in a six digit PIN number twice. It gives you the option of biomet biometry unlock with your fingerprint. You can skip that if your phone doesn't have those features. It goes through all the settings here, like creating the private key, saving your encrypted keys, and that's it finished. You click on start using Mew Wallet. And this is what it looks like. At the moment, you can see there's zero Ethereum in that wallet. If you want to actually see what your address is and the QR code, which is this black and white icon here, <coughs> what you do is you scroll down a little bit and click on receive. And then you will see this. You click on copy and you can copy and paste your wallet address, your Ethereum wallet address. Now, another feature of the Mew Wallet app is to connect to your existing MyEtherWallet.com account on the website. So if you look on the app, there's like a little icon that looks like a camera top right. And what you do is you click on Access My Wallet on the website. Click on Mew Connect, M-E-W Connect, the button there. Then you will see a QR code. So on your app, you click the little camera icon and it should take a picture of the QR code and then that allows you to connect to your MEW web. And it looks like this. You can see that you logged in uh, using your mobile phone. You've got the address here. You can make a copy using this icon. It's got your Ethereum balance and your Scott coin there. Next, the MetaMask app, which is available to download on Google Play Store for Android devices or MetaMask.io. Unfortunately, it's not available 
for Apple Store at the moment. It was several weeks ago, but now they're they're doing a limited user trial. Now keep an eye out for that. That may change. If not, you could use an alternative like Jack's Liberty from Jax.io. I won't actually cover the Jax wallet on this video. You have two choices with MetaMask is create a wallet which gives you a new Ethereum address that you can use on the Scotcoin B3 system. Also in the settings that allows you to set a password and use fingerprint scanner only if your phone supports that. Now you've got another option here which is sync or import wallet which means that you can use your existing Ethereum wallet by using the 12 words linked to your Ethereum address. And I'll show you here. Once you've installed MetaMask, it gives you the two choices here, create a wallet or sync or import a wallet. Then what you do is click on agree, create a wallet, click on agree, then it automatically generates a brand new Ethereum address with zero balance. It's very, very quick. It doesn't ask you for a password straight away but I'll show you how to do that in the settings. Now to see your Ethereum address you just click on receive, click on QR code and it will give you the QR code and your public address so you just copy that when you get asked for it. Now to create a password you click on this icon on the top left of the wallet on your mobile phone, click on security and privacy now, there's several options you can use a fingerprint if your phone supports it and you can press this button to sign in with a device pin so it asks you for a password now I used a weak password there which you shouldn't do but make sure it's something that is long it's got a mixture of uppercase lowercase numbers and special characters once you've chosen your password click on next Now, the second option on the front screen of the MetaMask app is to um, import or sync. So what you do first of all is choose that option, click on import using seed phrase, which is this option here. Now you can see here, I've got a test account here. You copy your 12 words into this box here, choose a password, and that adds your account. That's your existing account there. And if you've got some Ethereum, it'll show you your balance there. If you've already got some Scotcoin B3 in there, it'll actually have another option here that says Scott B3. If it doesn't, well then what you do is you click on the option to add tokens. See here, add tokens. Then choose custom token, which is the tab here. The token address you can find from etherscan.io. You go to the top, type in Scott Coin, and it will find the Scott Coin B3 contract address. Now it starts with 0x28. So what you do is you just click on that icon that copies it. You copy it into your token address field. Type in Scott, all in capitals. Put a 6 for the token of precision. Click on Add Token. You can see there it's added the Scott coin as well as the Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet. So that's it. Finally, if you've got any questions, then email info at scottcoinproject.com or visit our social media channels, facebook.com slash scottcoin, twitter.com slash scottcoinproject, or visit our website, scottcoinproject.com. Thank you and have a good day.